Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Tapping in and accessing your true, authentic God self. Your true self. The star that you are. Tapping into your heart. Feeling your heart. And only what your heart wants to speak. What it wants to do the actions, the path, inside of it and outside of it. But are you taking those actions that lead to your true authentic path, your true authentic life, your dreams, your visions, your passions, your desires? Write them down. What are they? First, know what they are. What do you love? What do you want to accomplish? Write your goals down. That's what I do, that's what I've done. One goal at a time as I check them off, knowing what I feel, knowing what I want. I took my money, I sold everything in America, and I set out on my journey into the world, for that was one of my goals. Traveling around in the world, meeting people, teaching and healing, in person, with groups, at centers as well via YouTube. I could have took that money instead and invested in marketing and advertising. But I wasn't here to feed my ego. I was here to show up for the people who are ready to hear the information I am here to bring forth. Whether it be from country to country, individually, the people that I meet, who meet me, who reach out to me, through social media, in person, country to country, otherwise through YouTube. Tapping in and accessing our true potential, realizing that it's not outside of us, that the power is within us. It is not within God's hands, but God's hands are within you. Your hands are God. You are creating with those hands of God. The light, God gave you everything inside of you, everything that you need. If you believe that something is impossible, that it can happen, then guess what? That won't happen. You have to take the bull by the horns. You are driving your vehicle. You are driving your life. Asking yourself on one to a hundred, how much am I fulfilled with myself, with my life, with where I'm at? One to a hundred, a hundred percent is, well, you're very fulfilled, overflowing accomplishing that which is in your heart. There are people who are paralyzed but yet still working and doing their passions who are in the Olympics. You might have limitations and obstacles as everybody does within them. Could be physically, mentally, spiritually, different challenges everybody face. Do not judge or you will be judged. Focus on yourself and not others. Focus on your path, what you're here to do. Go inward and upward. Don't look at others. Don't compare yourself to others. You are here to accomplish your goals, your dreams, your passions, your purpose. But first you have to get clear on what that is. If you have certain beliefs within you, about people, about marriage, about relationships, about men, that's just one area, one category, one chapter. What about the energies in the category of money? It's hard, it's difficult. You gotta work 50 hours to make a good salary. If that is your belief, that becomes your reality. How about beating to the energy of the less I work, the more I make, over and over, as I talked about in another video. Mind, mantras, and manifestations. You ask yourself where you're out of alignment, maybe with a relationship or love, it's not in your life, or with money, those are the two main factors where people reach out to me to clear, to cleanse, to heal, as well as physical pain is the third one why people reach out to me. One-on-one -on -one sessions, sometimes intuitive information that's coming through me for them as I tune in and tap into their higher self, not their physical body, with all these limitations and old experiences and lower vibrational energy sometimes. Just like you shower, you have to wash and cleanse your energy every day. To become brighter 
clearer, more focused, operating at your highest potential, grading yourself, be the teacher of your own self. One to ten, where are you at physically with your body? How happy are you? Are you nourishing it? Are you exercising? One to ten, how happy are you with your body? And then know what you have to do. What are the goals to get you to a ten? What about mentally? What are you doing to expand your mental awareness, your mental knowledge? What are you reading? Where are you tuning into? What are you watching? What are you doing for yourself mentally? Go to the New Age section in a bookstore or go on Amazon. Expand your consciousness or whatever it is that you really love to learn about. Could be history. Could be even doing hair, hair coloring your hair. But what are you doing to feed that mental energy? One to ten. Grade yourself. Know where you're at and then know where you want to be. Spiritually, are you doing your homework? If you watched my last video, doing your homework spiritually. Where are you at? One to ten. Again, grading yourself, being your own teacher. The light and the powers within you to do anything. Limiting beliefs of what you can and can't do. I've been changing them, working on myself for a decade. That's right. I do the homework. Talking the talk and walking the walk. What I teach and preach is what I do. And I keep on raising my vibration, my frequency, in a beautiful space right now, even during this quarantine, People in the energies of lockdown, you are not a prisoner, you are not a victim, unless you allow that. You can go outside. I'm experiencing beautiful space of snorkeling with the fish and the earth and the water and the sea, connecting in, tuning in to that. But as you raise your vibration, as you do your spiritual homework, guess what? You're going to be creating more of that around you. The beauty in the light gets brighter and brighter within you. You think of a dimmer switch and you ask yourself, one to a hundred, how bright am I shining? Physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Clearing emotional wounds, old cords, threads, attachments, hooks from people, giving your power away because of fear. Where are you fe fearful? Where are you fearful? The power of God is within us. What are you praying for? You pray for it, and then you make it happen. You seek clarity, more money. What is the plan of action? Opening up. People don't want to change, but they want more money, but they still want to do the same thing and expect different results. But maybe you have to change. Maybe you have to do something differently. But people rather stay in their comfort zones. They don't want to change jobs. They want to stay in the same relationship. So they're going to stay in that lower vibration. If you refuse, to change and your spirit and your heart and your soul is telling you to move forth, to let go, to follow your heart. But instead, people follow their heads and eventually that will collapse. Those energies, those relationships, those jobs will eventually diminish because that is not in alignment with their authentic truth, light, passion, purpose, and desires. And eventually they will have to come to the crossroads and make a choice to move forward in the light, or to keep on being a prisoner to that old energy, those old fears, those old patterns which do not serve them, enabling people in the darkness, enabling the energy, enabling yourself, not changing, not shifting, which ultimately means you will stay in the same circumstances, maybe that are very undesirable to you. But once again, the power and the light of God resides in you. God has given us everything that we need inside. We have to heal. And that is why I teach on YouTube for free. You could tune in and tap in. Look at the videos that I have created for addictions, past relationships, clearing chakras, meditating, inspiration, motivation, you name it. It's out there. Not only with my videos, but with other people putting the time in, doing the work. Stop watching television for five, six, seven hours a day or playing video games or scrolling on social media, wasting time, wasting valuable, precious time. 
I don't message back and forth to people all the time. I'm not scrolling on social media. I create. I send it out and I get off. That's it. It's obvious. I'm not tuned in and tapped in to social media for hours on hours. A couple minutes, post, see a couple different inspirational quotes. What else do I want to create? We are all creators. We're supposed to be creating, not wasting our time, wasting away, staying out of alignment from our higher self, our truth, our light, which shines in our hearts. Listen to the beat of your soul. What you think is outside of you is ultimately inside of you. Where you want to give your power away to whether it be God, oh, if he wants that, oh, if that's meant to be, it will happen. No, God gave you the power to make it happen. It's up to you to make it happen. Nobody can do it for you. Taking responsibility for your life at 100%, owning the good experiences and even the undesirable and bad experiences. What is in my energy? How am I creating this? Where do I keep on playing a victim or a prisoner? Punishment, fear. What is it that is creating this? Watch many of my videos of how to heal, shift, clear, and change. More to come. But God is within you. That God power. Accessing it. Making a list of your new goals, your new visions, your new dreams. And then creating the plan of action and making them happen. And checking them off. Making sure you're nourishing and feeding the spiritual body, the physical body, the mental body, and the emotional body. Filling with love and light. Open to receiving it. Worthy and deserving of it. Feeling unconditional love of pink light shining through you and you and around you. Touching into every cell, every fiber, every thought, every frequency, every cellular memory. Going into your past. Known or unknown, subconsciously and consciously, going into your presence, you see this beautiful pink light touching in to every strand, every thread that runs through you, through all dimensions, all time, space, realities, all experiences, and it transmutes into the light. Take the key, the golden key, and open up your heart to your true light. And keep on moving forward in love and not fear. Ask yourself, is this decision based on fear or is this decision based on love? If it's based on fear, well, you need to step out of those old patterns of choosing fear over love. Some people may be afraid of saying no, standing in their power. Well, if that was the case, well, I can tell you along my trails, a couple bad things could have happened to me, but I am not afraid to speak my truth, to stand in my truth, guy. With a man, I say no, and I do not feel bad for it. And I call people out and their lies or their darkness, whatever it may be, and they thank me for it. They do. Many of them do. Other ones will just dissolve out of my energy, my space, because I am not a vibrational match to that. They might have showed up, but it dissipates. For sometimes people show up in your energy and is ultimately, well, a lesson for you, possibly. Will you pass the test? Will you stand in your power? Will you speak your truth? Or will you be manipulated and controlled and being a victim? The tests. It's up to you to turn the key and to access your true power, your true voice, your true heart, your true mind, your true thoughts, your true light. Let it shine through you and you and around you and keep moving forward in your power, in the space of love and not fear. God is within you. What you pray for and what you seek and what you're putting out there, what you're doing or not doing, what you believe is possible or impossible, is ultimately what is becoming your reality. You have the power. Every time you give your power away to somebody else, you are a victim to them. You're giving your power away. Call it back. Tap in. Ask yourself, how am I creating this? What is inside of me that's attracting this? and heal it, clear it, release it with the light of your inner being, source, God, and the divine. Your hands are God's hands. Your heart is God's heart. Your mind, your thoughts, your visions, your hearing, your speaking is God's light inside you. You're waiting for you. Step into that energy, step into that power, and you will have eternal happiness.
And you will have to keep on following that energy and that path of love and light as you move forward. Because you will continue to have the crossroads with another person, another experience, another relationship, another family member, another work situation where you have to keep on choosing you, love and light and not fear and not victim and not enabling and not controlled and not abused, whatever it is that doesn't resonate. Those are your old patterns, your old situations, your old experiences, but that is not you. Stripping away layer after layer like an onion and bringing light to the surface, that is you. God is within you. God is outside of you. You have the power within you. Tuning in, tapping in, and accessing that on a daily basis. Feeding your soul that which it needs to do, know, feel, speak, and see. Turning up the light like you turn up a light switch. Asking yourself, one to a hundred, where am I at? And where do I want to be? Where do I need to work on? And then do it. Take the action. Make your dreams and goals happen. One action, one step, one page and step and chapter at a time. Signing out that Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World.